What's up CKFM? This is your boy Clifford Che here and if I shoot this video one more time I'm gonna be upset. You guys don't know what I'm talking about but I've been filming this video over and over only because I have not been pleased in my heart. And I know you guys are asking where's your intro? I'm not doing no more intros guys. Intros are done. I'm bored with my intro. I wanna get a new intro. I'm kind of rebranding. Not just with my intro but the things I'm gonna be doing on my channel and I don't wanna tell you guys this is what I'm gonna be doing. I wanna actually live it so you guys can see it on my channel. So I'm rebranding. I wanted to speak on something that has been on my heart yesterday and today. I could not sleep. Literally, even when I put my phone down, I was just thinking about it. And I asked you guys on Instagram, shall I talk about this? And you guys said yes. And as you can see by the title, today's video is Faith Over Your Feelings. And I've been in so many situations where my feelings had a, had a hold of me. And I'm still in situations sometimes where my feelings control the things that I do and I hate that. I don't, I don't know about you, but sometimes my feelings really get the best out of me and, and it's not the cutest thing ever. And I know that there have been moments where I didn't feel like doing this YouTube thing. It was, there have been moments where I didn't have the passion that I had in the beginning for YouTube and so I just wanted to quit. But then in the midst of me thinking that I want to quit, someone will hit me up and say, yo, this, this video really helped me. I needed this video. Or someone will meet me and say, yo, I love your channel. Keep doing what you're doing. And that kind of put me back in a place where I used to be. But I'm not even here to just talk about YouTube because I'm talking about faith over your feelings. As a Christian, sometimes I don't feel like reading the Bible. Sometimes based on the things I'm going through, based on the things I'm facing, I do not feel like praying. Sometimes it's not even that something is necessarily wrong with me or something happened to me Sometimes I just don't feel like having fellowship. I don't feel like going to church But one thing that I've learned is that the moment you don't feel like doing something That's the day or that's the moment that you need it the most I cannot do the thing that God has planned for me because I'm not feeling it I can't come to church and say I'm not worshiping because I'm not really feeling it right now because the Holy Spirit is there all the time your feelings will deceive you. You can't depend on your feelings. And that and this is so heavy for me. And the way I'm talking like this right now is mainly because my feelings sometimes really be making me look like a fool. And that's what our feelings want us to do. It wants us to have you looking like a fool out here. And I'm tired of looking, looking like a fool. It's not, it's not happening. It's not. And so with that being said, what is faith and what is feelings? Because I looked it up on Google. Google said, faith, complete trust in God without any question or firm belief in something for which there's no proof. Feelings, an emotional state or reaction that is easily moved. I'm gonna read that again. Feelings is an emotional state or reaction that is easily moved. And so the reason why I'm telling you to choose your faith over your feelings is because my feelings is easily moved. Sometimes I could be good in a day and as soon as a little something little happened, it's like I'm not even a Christian anymore. And that's what our feelings do to us. It's not that the feelings is necessarily bad. Sometimes we need our feelings, but it cannot be in control of who you are as a person. Yesterday night, I was reading Hebrews 11, chapter one, and then I ended up reading the whole chapter. But one of the things I realized about the whole chapter as it was going was that it was talking about the prophets in the Bible, from Abraham to David to Abel to whoever. And one of the things that I picked out about their lives is that they was not feeling it sometimes. It were moments where they wasn't feeling it. It were moments where when God promised Abraham the promise, he wasn't feeling it based on what he's seen. He was like, you're telling me I'm gonna have a child, but I don't even have any child. You're telling me you're gonna make my name great, but I don't even have any child. So what are you talking about? But one thing that he never stopped doing was to serve God, even though he wasn't feeling it. He kept, the, and it wasn't just him. All the prophets kept doing the same thing, even when they didn't feel it. And so that's the huge lesson I want you to take away is that even when you don't feel it, keep praying. Even when you don't feel it, keep reading the Bible. Even when you don't feel it, keep doing what you're doing. Because sometimes you will not always feel it. When your feelings is crushed up, just know that your spirit is happy. Even though you're not feeling it, keep doing it. But Hebrews 11 chapter 1 says, Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. And we know that. We've been hearing this Bible verse all around in church. It's a famous Bible verse. But I love the AMP version. It says, Now faith is the assurance. Title D, confirmation of the things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what could not be experienced by the personal senses. Your faith is something that cannot be experienced by the physical senses. If you always let your feelings get or make it full out of you or get the best out of you, you're not experiencing or you're not getting the full potential or the full things that you're, the full package you're supposed to get as a child of God. You cannot have your fellows controlling you and say you have faith. It can be in the same box. One thing that we know the Bible tells us about faith is that for we walk by faith and not by sight. 
And I think that that's so important because God has called us Christians not to live a normal Christian life. He has called us not to live a life based on the things we see, we feel, we touch, based on the things people do to us, based on the circumstances that we're in, based on the life situations. He's not saying be a Christian based on the things you're going through because I know for me, if my Christianity is based on the things that I'm facing, I would not be a right Christian. I would not serve God. I would not pray. I would not read the Bible. But for some reason, every prophet or everybody in the Bible who God used, it just happened to seem that at the midst of your feelings, there was some kind of victory. At the midst of your feelings telling you no, but you went with your faith, there's going to be some kind of victory. See, what I mean by that is that Jesus Christ, when he was on the cross, he was not feeling it. He was hurt. He was in pain, but he kept on going. He kept on doing the same thing. He said, God, let your will be done. Because according to me right now, you're born on the cross, but I'm not really feeling it. But let your will be done. That's faith. Because I know you wake me up on the third day. On the third day. So faith is being able to go through something right now and saying, God, like, based on how I feel, I'm going to curse this person out. But give me joy. Give me love. Give me the right words to say. Give me the things to do. That is faith. Faith is accepting that you're broke, but you're not going to stay broke. Because right, right now my bank account ain't looking cute, but I know I'm not going to stay broke. And so today I want you to kind of walk into your day just having this mindset that whatever you're going through, you're not going to stay in it. That's faith. Your feelings is trying to tell you this is all you have, this is all God has for you. Why am I going through this? Da, 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 da. And you're accepting this for your life. And God is saying live by faith and not by sight. Because if you look at your life right now, yeah, it look a hot mess, but by faith, you know that God will pull you out. So this, this, this is what I've been thinking about. Hope it helped y'all, but um, there's gonna be a lot of changes and I just, I, just, I just want you guys to be on my journey too as we're all growing. As I'm bridging the gap between you and me and with Christ, uh, I want you to know that I'm not perfect. I don't always have the, the answers. I don't have all the answers. Um, I'm growing too, so that's the season I'm in. Learning to trust God even when I don't feel it. Don't forget to be blessed. Be yourself and be happy. Peace. I find you so great. Omega, you so great. I don't know you so great. I say before I be nobody, you don't see you making me somebody. Jehovah, you so great. So great. So great. I say,